Hello Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for September for the Sun or the Ascendant. I am sorry to be delivering this forecast a little later than I would have liked. This month, really though, offers you such rich potential and it's very, very exciting for you. Your sign is known as being stoic. You keep going when other people are crumbling. And even if your steps may be small when you're under real duress, it doesn't stop you producing, of applying yourself on a daily basis. That's why I admire Capricorns genuinely so much. But over the last five and a half months, we can't deny the fact that your ruler has been tracking backwards. But the great news is that on the 6th of this month, that comes to a close. But on the same day, Mercury, the planet of communication, moves into your sister Earth sign of Virgo, of which it governs, and also forges a great link to Saturn, but also Uranus too, the planet of surprises, which is in a very inventive part of your scope. And there's an opportunity for you to, to embrace an approach to life uh, in the next two-thirds of this month, where you're being much more on the front foot, much more proactive, you're someone who generally thinks about things very carefully before you take any action. But you could find yourself galvanised into uh, action. And this is a very energising change. It's very, very vibrant. But it could see you pushing outside your comfort zone, trying different things, travelling. If you love travel, this is going to be a terrific month for you. And part of the reason for this is that there's also an incredibly positive new moon, which occurs on the 9th, which also feeds into the angle between Pluto in your sign and Jupiter, the planet of growth, in your sector of your highest wishes and your longer term future and your friendships. Therefore, have confidence that you can take the lead, that you can be a main player. Even if you're someone who does uh, get into your rhythm in a very self-reliant way, this is a time to break the chains of restriction, even if they're your own uh, bonds of restriction. You can absolutely amaze people by how enterprising you can be, by how much fun you are to be around. Venus moves into a dazzling location for you on the 9th too, and goes into an opposition with Uranus. Don't be surprised if you get a surprise invitation to go out on a date. That could really set your pulse racing. Or it's an opportunity to rev up an existing relationship by being a bit more spontaneous. However, it is true to say that at the heart of this month, Venus becomes an even more important player, forging a great link with Saturn, which is obviously something you'd really appreciate, so a stable development around a friendship or association. But also Venus clashes with Mars. Now, Mars is going to be moving out of your sign on the 12th, goes back into Aquarius. It's been with you for a month. It's given you a shot of extra motivation and drive, but it may have also overstimulated you in some ways. Moving back into Aquarius, it's now back into the domain of resources. And it's possible that you could quarrel with someone who has a different view of joint resources to you, or it could be a friendship where someone may be taking you for granted a little bit at the heart of this month. But the friendships that are true and loyal are going to be ones you truly savour. That's a fact. However, Uranus does go back into its square with Mars that first began in the second week of May. Now, because you are someone who's such a careful custodian of resources, that particular aspect may have seen you do something really quite speculative during that period of time that may have been completely out of character. And if that's the case, there may have been some real consequences from this. Perhaps you spent money on something that didn't have any tangible value, completely out of character for you. Or you got involved in a relationship that was lusty but had no chance of ever going anywhere. Or perhaps you've been overly generous to somebody around you, cut them too much slack, given them too much freedom around your resources. If any of this rings true for you, the chances are there can be an echo of it again this month. However, there is an opportunity with the transition of Mercury and the Sun 
to the top of your horoscope on the 22nd and the 23rd to bring to bear your natural Capricornian energies. And that's your sense of responsibility, your appreciation of tradition. It doesn't make you died in the wall. You can be just as fun as the next person. In fact, for most Capricorns, the older you get, the more humorous you become. And I think Capricorns probably have the best sense of humor in the Zodiac. I really do. Because when you were younger, the chances were there was a degree of shyness or timidity, or perhaps you were shaped very much by the values of the family setup that you were forged in. But as you've got older, when you really do let go, just brilliant fun. And there's an opportunity to use your sense of fun, but also your sense of responsibility to great effect in the last third of this month. But I can't hide the fact, Capricorn, that there is a stinker of a full moon on the 24th. Now, I'm not sure if other astrologers will be quite as frank as that, but essentially it's in the sign of Aries, which for you is about emotion, and it's going to be squared up by Saturn. Now, Saturn may no longer be retrograde, but it's still going to be with you for another approximately a year and three quarters. And therefore, whatever your age, it is going to be like a mini uh, Saturn return. There could be things that you need to be ultra disciplined about, things you need to eliminate from your life. But around an emotional situation, around a family dynamic, around where you live, there may be some kind of threat or uh, difficulty, which is very hard to ignore as this month draws to a close. And perhaps part of it is that you're so focused on the big picture and driving your goals and ambitions forwards that you take your eye off your own emotional needs. And that's something you need to work at, that uh, wonderful concept of work-life balance, which is so elusive for all of us these days in this time of technology where we can seem to be tracked and followed and disposed of wherever artificial intelligence or technology or algorithms decide that that's that. And it's hard to just get those moments of, pe of peace and tranquility, of kickback, not agree to do overtime, to please a boss who may have you on a temporary contract or you may work for yourself. This is the fast-moving world we live in, isn't it? It's not as set in stone as it used to be. And in some ways that's exhilarating, in other ways quite frightening. And I think making sure that you look after yourself, your bodily needs, making sure you nurture yourself within your goals and ambitions and hopes and responsibilities is going to be key as this month comes to a close. But you are going to excite some people this month, not least yourself. It's going to be a thrilling opportunity for you. I do hope you seize it with both hands. I am so grateful for all the support, kind comments and suggestions that have been made to me. The rheumatoid arthritis I could never have known is such a punishing condition. And I am still obviously trying out some natural things, trying out the standard stuff, and it's all in a bit of a state of a flux, so my energy is low. But all the feedback just means so much. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video, or if you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three-card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.